Welcome to Daily Chat from our Mountaintop Live Daily Devotional. For today, Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. God bless you. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We exalt you. We appreciate you for your goodness that is unequal. Thank you for your faith that you have in us. Thank you, Lord, Father, Lord, for your love that you have shared with us. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy that endured for us. May all the glory be ascribed unto you. Thank you for all your word that is here and amen. Thank you, Lord, Father, Lord, for Psalm 91 being live in our lives. Father, we give you glory in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way today. As we go to study together in your word, O oh Lord, help us. Teach us even a new thing. Father, give us a direction, even today in the name of Jesus, and let all glory be ascribed back unto you. Holy Spirit, have your way. Show forth yourself as a mighty, glorious, and terrible one in battle, and let all praise, Lord Father, be ascribed unto you. We decrease so that you will increase. Even in our knowledge today, in the name of Jesus, in our understanding, you will increase, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. Do that which your God alone will do, which no man can do today to the glory of your name and to the shame of the devil. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your holy name. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. We are looking at divine VIP treatment. Divine VIP treatment. Somebody will ask a question. Why divine P VIP treatment? Is there VIP treatment in the things of God? Yes, is the answer. Yes, is the answer. A memory verse is taken from Philippians ch chapter number 2 and verse number 9. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and giving him a name which is above every name. Is there divine VIP treatment in the things of God? Yes. And our memory verse explains this. It explains this. Wherefore God also at ex highly exalted him, and giving him a name which is above every name. That means he gave somebody a name which is above every name. VIP treatment. Motivational quote, henceforth be empowered to see the Lord clearly. Love the dear love uh, the dearly and follow the Lord nearly day by day in the name of Jesus. Be empowered to see the Lord clearly, love dearly, and for you to love the Lord nearly day by day in the name of Jesus. Prophetic word for the day. Those who serve the Lord wholeheartedly will be served by men and honored by heaven in the name of Jesus. That means if you serve the Lord wholeheartedly, you will be served by men and you will be honored by heaven in the name of Jesus. And our, our first scripture is taken from 2 Kings chapter number 2 and verse number 8 to 11. Verse number 8 to 11 of 2 Kings chapter number 2. 8 to 11. And I read, And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the water, and they were divided either and thither, so, so that the two went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do. For thee before I be taken away from thee. Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. He said, and he said, Thou art asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked and talked, that behold, that there appeared a chariot of fire, an horse of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up and wide wind, uh, went up by wide wind into heaven he went up by wide wind into the heaven i will read 12 elisha saw it and he cried my father my father chariot of israel and the horsemen thereof and he saw him no more and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them into pieces he ran them into pieces. Here, we are talking about VIP, divine VIP treatment. 
there is divine VIP treatment when you deserve it. Something brings you to the point of divine VIP treatment. Something brings you to that point. And that thing that brings you to that point of divine VIP treatment is your relationship with the Father. Your relationship with the Father brings you in the position of you being, you know, having an encounter of divine relationship with Him. Elijah the Tash, uh, Tashbite appeared in Israel with a clear mission to execute God's judgment against an ungodly, idolatrous, and pervert leadership, you know, and prevent, uh, pervert leadership and turn the heart of the entire citizenry in Israel back to the living God. He had a mission. Elijah had a mission. The mission is that the whole of Israel, they have turned away from the Lord, and his mission is to go there. The idolatrous world that they are living in, he needs to turn them back to the living God. And that was that assignment. It is an assignment that, you know, Elijah went for. And by the grace of God, because of the divine VIP treatment that is upon Elijah already, Elijah was able to achieve this. His assignment brought him into confrontation with powers that be, Ahab and Jezebel, the prophets of Asherah and the prophets of Baal. Though Elijah had this formidable opposition, he faced his task with courage and unbroken focus. He was God's partner. Elijah was God's partner. Somebody is asking VIP, VIP, divine VIP treatment. For the Bible to say somebody is God's partner. I, I, I think you should understand that there is, there is something that is peculiar about this person. There is, there is this special thing that the Lord you know, has placed on that person for that person to be his partner. That is where divine VIP treatment comes in. Hallelujah. That is where divine VIP treatment comes in. Elijah was God's partner. Battle axe and weapon of war. It was not just his partner. It was his battle axe and his weapon of war. How, can, how else can somebody be described for you to know that he is a VIP? He is, he is going through a treatment of a VIP. How else can someone be, be described for you to see him as such? How else? How else? Divine VIP treatment. Elijah was God's partner. He was God's battle axe. He was a weapon of war in the hands of God. Note that there were other prophets who knew about the activities of Jezebel and our false prophets but didn't have the firepower to confront the evil. They don't have that firepower to confront that evil because they are not privileged to have the divine VIP treatment that Elijah has. For him to be a partner of God, to be a battle axe in the hands of God, and to be the firepower of God. Other prophets knew about this, but they don't have that power. They don't have that privilege. They are not treated as VIP, just as such as uh, 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 Elijah was treated by God. Elijah never got there on a platter of gold. No. There were sacrifices that were made for him to become the VIP of God. Are you a divine VIP? Are you a divine VIP? Are you treated as such? Are you treated as one? If no, then you still have a lot of work to do. The supposed powerhouses of God were overtaken by fear, kept in a cave and led with bread and water. Obadiah, Ahab's servant, Elijah on the other hand, did not love his life unto death. Unto death. He took the risk of representing God by confronting and overcoming the idolatry, idolatry, idolatry and the power behind it. He took, the, he took the bull by the horn that this idolatry is not going to thrive in this city no more. I need to confront it head on. And he fought that battle. Because why? And I say again, it was said here that Obadiah, Ahab's servant, was not able 
to do the same thing. Elijah, on the other hand, did not love his life unto death. And that made him to be a VIP of God. And he was given a VIP treatment. Listen, when you are the VIP of God, you will have a VIP treatment. There is nothing, absolutely, that will confront you or that you will confront that will overcome you. When you have come to that point of being the VIP of God. Hallelujah. Is somebody today the VIP of God? We'll get to know whether you are one or not. I'll go on a short break and I'll come back to you very shortly. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. God bless you and welcome back. We are looking at Divine VIP Treatment. Divine VIP Treatment. And our case study for today is uh, Prophet Elijah, the man that called out fire. The man that called down fire. The man that said there should be no rain and there was no rain. The man that will speak and God will honor. The man that will create problem in the neck of God and God will say, I back you up. And in the bit of saying that, you know, the power of God was tested. They went outside, they look at it. Is there a cloud, you know, at the point where he called back rain? Is there a cloud? He said no. Is there water? He said no. You know, he created that problem and he wanted to solve it. It was looking as if it was not going to be solved. But because he created the problem and God backed him up. Because why? He was divine VIP of God and God is treating him as such. How is God treating you? It's one of his divine VIP or not? The supposed powers of God were overtaken by fear, just like we have read. And all of them, they failed. But Elijah does not love his life, even unto death. He was ready to die. He was ready to go all out. If he survives, I survive. If I don't survive, I go. But because he was a divine VIP and he's been treated as one, he knew he can never die. I pray for you that today you will encounter the divine nature of God and you will become a divine VIP and be treated as such in the name of Jesus. Somebody will say an amen to that. What made Elijah bold and successful? First, he was a man of prayer and a carrier of God's presence. For you to be a divine VIP, you must be a divine prayer warrior. You must be a prayer warrior, a man that prays in and out of season. And you must be a carrier of God's presence. Are you carrying God's presence? Are you a prayerful man? Do you pray? Are you carrying God's presence? We are not pray, if, you are not, if you are not prayerful, you cannot carry God's presence. And if you don't carry God's presence, you cannot be a divine pray, a VIP. You cannot be treated as such. No, you cannot. Definitely you will not. There are a divine VIP and people are treated as such. Even in this generation, our fathers of faith, we know, I don't want to mention names. They speak to God and God hears them. God talks to them because they are VIP and they are treated as such. Do you hear from God? Do you commune with Him? Our fathers in faith, He speaks to them, they hear, they converse. They converse because they are VIP. Whenever they need to talk to Him, they call Him, He comes, they sit, they talk. Why? Because they are VIPs. Are you one? Are you carrying his presence? One great future of a man 
who spends quality time with God in prayer is the usual power and authority they demonstrate in their ministry. Elijah was, you know, dramatic in this regard. When he said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain three years, but according to my word, according to my word, he didn't say according to the word of God, according to my word, that was the beginning of the end of the idolatry and Jezebel's evil dominance in the land. Israel did not see rain or dew for three and a half years. According to my word, like I said to you before we went on the break, that Elijah, because of the VIP nature, relationship that he has with God, he will, he, he, he will commit something unto God. And God will not have a choice than to honor it. He said, according to my word, there will not be rain for three years. He didn't say according to God's word. That means he created that problem and he hung it on the neck of God. And God backed it up. Three and a half years, there was no rain. And that was the end of idolatry in the, in the land, you know, of Israel. According to my word. Would you say according to my word? Would you say by the anointing of God upon my life and it will become, things will become so? Fathers in faith will say according to the calling upon my life, let there be and there will be. That is the divine connection of a VIP treatment. Somebody understand what I'm saying? You need to get to that point. It is by you being in the presence of God, tarrying in prayer, day in, day out, without ceasing. That is what brings about the certification of you being a VIP and for you to be treated as one. Divine VIP treatment. That is what we are looking at. Divine VIP treatment is what we are looking at today. Divine VIP treatment is what we are looking at. Committed it into the hands of God. There shall be no rain according to my words. It didn't say according to the words of God. Are you bold enough to say that I speak by the anointing upon my head and things begin to happen? Or have you ever said, I speak because you called me and things begin to happen? Until the day you are able to speak in those words and things begin to happen, that is the day that you, you know that you have that divine VIP treatment from the Father in heaven. But when you speak by your word and it is not backed up by God, you are not there yet. Elijah spoke by the word of prophecy that there shall not be rain three and a half years and that word never changed. God backed it. Because there is that connection of the VIP and it's been treated as one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of the word of God that came out from Elijah and that word stood, that specifically brought an end to idolatry in the land of Israel. And it put an end to the Jezebelic spirit even in that land. Speak a word and it shall be established. It can only be established when there is that divine connection divine connection of a, a VIP and you have been recognized and treated as one. Are you treated in the sight of God? How is your prayer life? How is your prayer life? Is it the prayer life that can bring you to the ends of where you will speak the word and it will be backed? Have you prayed to the point whereby you commune with God? Have you prayed to the point whereby God will descend and speak to you? Not by signs. Speak. You speaking and you are hearing him. Have you gotten to the, to the point whereby you will want to take a step and he will tell you, son, don't go. Have you gotten to a point whereby you will lay your hands and things will begin to happen? 
Have you got to a point whereby you will say, I command you to go out and those things will begin to go out? It is a sign of divine VIP treatment. Hallelujah. It's a sign of divine VIP treatment. You need to get there. You need to get there. Are you there yet? No. Are you praying to get there? Yes. Then you need to increase your prayer life. You need to be in the presence of God day in, day out. Spend more time in the presence of God than spending on unnecessary things, unnecessary associations. Spend time with God for you to be enrolled in the school of divine VIP and to be treated as such. When Elijah prayed and fire fell on Mount Carmel, all Israel acknowledged the sovereignty of Jehovah and they turned back to God. All Baal prophets were killed at his command, just as Jesus earned the name above all names by partnering with the Father in the plan of redemption. Elijah's reward for turning the heart of Israel back to God was the VIP treatment heaven gave him by sparing him from death and transporting him to heaven in a chariot of fire. After Elijah, who again, who again has been transported by chariot of fire? Every other person died. Elijah did not die. God sent the chariot of fire. The, you know what? You are special. You have done marvelous. You have communed with me. I had an encounter. You had an encounter with me. And I'm not taking it for granted. Because I have not taken it for granted. Elijah, something different from the ordinary is what I'm going to do. I am taking you directly to heaven. Every other person died. They were buried. Their soul went to heaven. Elijah was taken alive to heaven. After him, no other person had been taken to heaven. VIP treatment. Heaven gave him by sparing him from death and transporting him to heaven in a chariot of fire. Elijah fulfilled his ministry. Elijah fulfilled his ministry. Are you fulfilling your ministry? That question will be answered. We'll go on a short break and we'll come back to you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. God bless you and welcome back. We are rounding up. We are looking at divine VIP treatment. And like I said again, you can get to the point of divine VIP in God's calendar by you being prayerful. Prayerful to the point whereby you will be in the presence of God in and out. Praying without ceasing. Encountering the power of God without ceasing. You can achieve it. You can achieve it. The compensation for Elijah was that every other prophet of his time, they died, they were buried, their spirit was taken to heaven. Elijah was taken to heaven by the chariot of fire. Every eye saw him ascending to heaven, just like Jesus ascended to heaven. He was seen ascending to heaven. Priority. 
VIP, very important personality. You can have that treatment. One of, the, one of the ways that you can know that you have that treatment is God communing with you. I've heard fathers of faith saying that Jesus appeared to me, we, we communicated. VIP treatment. It's not everybody that Jesus or God will come down to commune with. Except to get to that point of divine VIP treatment. Except to get to that point of divine VIP treatment. Elijah fulfilled his ministry. Heaven was pleased with him. Heaven was pleased with him. Is heaven pleased with him? Is heaven pleased with him? Heaven was pleased with Elijah. And there was no other way to compensate him. Listen, the only way to compensate you is that you are not dying the way other people will die. I am taking you life to heaven. You will ascend. That means before Elijah was taken to heaven, that means the body that was flesh had become no more, you know, it had become no more flesh. It had become the, the body of Christ. Because you cannot carry the body of, you know, the, 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 the body of flesh, ordinary flesh, you can't carry it to ascend to heaven. That means his body had been transformed. His body had been transformed. For that body to be able to ascend to heaven the way it is, it has been transformed. VIP treatment. Are you under that privilege too? If you have not gotten to that privilege, unfortunately, you need to walk towards it. Beloved, what is your ministry? Do it to please the Lord. And make sure you finish well. Your reward will be ear tingling. Your reward will be what every ear wants to hear. I pray for you. If for any reason you are missing it anywhere, that is not giving you the opportunity to have that divine encounter. I pray for you today. Begin to have that encounter that will take you to that divine VIP and you will be treated as such in the name of Jesus. I expect your amen to be louder than that. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the hands of the Lord will be mighty upon you. As we round up, you close your eyes and you will take this prayer point. Say, my father, give me the grace to finish my divine assignment so well as to win your special compensation on earth and in heaven. It's a long one. My Father, give me the grace to finish my divine assignment so well as to win your special compensation on earth and in heaven. In the name of Jesus, give me that divine favor, O Lord, divine grace to finish my race so that I will be well compensated on earth and in heaven. In the name of Jesus, give me that grace, O Lord, give me that grace, O Lord, give me that grace, O Lord, give me that grace, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You will pray the next one. You pray very loud and clear. Say, oh God, use me to end idolatry in my family and nation. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, use me to end idolatry in my family and in my nation. In the name of Jesus. Use me, O oh Lord, to end idolatry even in my family and in my nation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. You pray the third one and you pray very loud and clear. Oh Lord, enroll me in the school of divine VIP. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, enroll me in the school of divine VIP. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. It is well with you. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. 
the Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.